So my name is Rachel Bradley and I'm an artist based in Nottingham and this is a project I've been working on uh, since last year. It's called Interlocutor and it's at Gasworks. One of the works in the show is uh, an intervention on the outside of the building, the Gasworks building. And it's a security system that I designed with an electrician. Um, but instead of being a kind of circuit that's broken when there's, um, you know, when there's a kind of uh, break in, these units actually constantly generate negative ions. So the negative ion generators, they, they are doing something in the world. Um, whether we can prove it or not is another matter, but they are doing something that's very functional. Um, and in that sense, they're like completely non-interpretive. Um, so something doesn't mean something and you don't need a code to get to it. And I was, yeah, interested that things, that the work would be doing something. They wouldn't be describing an effect that is in the world, that they would be. What would hap What happens if I, like, get everything in this active state? Um, what happens to meaning when you do that? And the negative ion is sort of in this strange threshold of, like, well-being, and it's not conventional medicine uh it's one of those things that you know well ions are used in science actually a lot for, for different in a different kind of application but um the the kind of space that i'm interested in is, is is this threshold of like not knowing whether it's good for you or not although anecdotally there's there's a lot of evidence that a negative ion does kind of eradicate um free radicals and pollutants and and I was interested with how you know a certain set of cultural beliefs actually would inform something that's truth producing like science. One work inside the gallery is uh, we I used I think about 300 kilograms of resin and it's poured onto uh, the floor directly it's a carrier, I'm using it as a carrier, really. Um, so whereas normally it would be poured into a mould to make form, it's a liquid and then it cures off into something very hard and brittle. And whereas it would be kind of used to make form, actually I wanted it to carry something and I wanted it to carry a herbal remedy. Um, the herbal tonic was designed and dispensed by my sister, who is a medical herbalist and she conducted clinical uh, consultations with everyone at Gasworks who is a permanent member of staff and she asked them questions around their experiences of work and their experience of the building as well as the space in which they work. Uh, the ingredients in the tonic include marigold, licorice, chamomile, ginseng, um, Lemon balm is another one. And it's, uh, you know, kind of free poured or stained into the resin as the resin is curing. Um, so it kind of acts as like a signature in some sense. Um, but again, like when I was first talking with my sister about this aspect of the work, um, the herbal remedy, and, and 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 diagnosing a space that not not necessarily diagnosing a single person the first thing that she said was though that's really shamanic and that was really interesting how i'd arrived at that because i think all the work is you know kind of thinking about belief systems and how a belief system might produce meaning and the value of that meaning um and so also, herbal medicine is still very, um, it doesn't, it, it's unable to kind of behave in the way that conventional medicine is in terms of like proof or evidence. Um, so it's still kind of doubted as to its, its effectiveness or um, its, yeah, kind of viability um, to kind of do what it, it claims to do. And so I was sort of interested by that, um, using the herbal remedy um, in that way um, 
in this kind of shamanic way almost to remedy the space. And the 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 remedy that we've come up with is actually called Infinite Resistance TM. So it's going through the trademarking process and the patenting process. It, and it will be rejected. Um, so it's kind of, I'm putting it into this other structure that actually is a structure that um, is designed to securitize uh, you know your 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 recipe, um, and and the reason why it securitizes it your is so that you can make profit from it. So that's why I know this will be refused patent because it will the ingredients are too available. Um, there's nothing specific enough um, that ca- that is can be protected, and so there could be no profit made from it because anybody could go and make it. There's also a work in the um, in one of the rooms in the gallery, and it's um, a, a viewing booth, and the dimensions are, you know, two meters fifty by one meter fifty. It's quite tall. It's kind of quite monolithic, set into the resin, um, in in that gallery space, and it's a viewing. It's it's not. It doesn't have a title as a work, so. It's, I was interested that it would be a device, you know, a kind of display device or a viewing device. But I also wanted to insert something which would um, draw out another kind of narrative or another kind of energy. And as an artist, I very much enjoy the space of making very strong contradictions um that's that's what i am kind of also interested in and what that energy can produce from those very very strong contradictions so the it's a, it actually has an industrial tumble dryer door um where there would be a view, where you would view through and so it's this kind of oversized window that's bigger than a human head and inside the booth is projected an image, um, which is a, a man, it's a still image, and it's a man in front of um, the Twin Towers on 9-11 in 2001. And the image is, the man is actually a skateboarder called, a pro skateboarder called Jason Dill. And um, he just happened to be, you know, kind of on the street, and his friend Mike Piscatelli, who um, let me use the image, you know, just snapped this 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 photograph, and it was the the image has this intensity to it, which on a kind of energy level, I think, is really interesting. There's very few images that have those properties that have that that have that ability to carry or be a vehicle.